Alrighty, um, I'm going to do another um, audio test here. I've been doing um, a lot of work on the OpenAL or 3D Positional Audio uh, Code and Self Project uh, Miyagi and um, what I have implemented so far is basically ship velocity, which is of course how fast they're going, um, ship thrust, which is how fast uh, they're trying to push themselves in a given direction, um, and bullet velocity, and actually ship part debris velocity. So when you destroy a ship and its components, you know, its parts fly, fly apart and they move towards the camera, um, you'll actually hear uh, sound emitted from them based on their velocity uh, as it passes by the camera. Um, I still need to do basically uh, ship part debris uh, collision. For example, if you destroy a ship and its its parts, its remnants, its debris actually bounce off of a wall or impact the ground and land on the ground, uh, you'll hear a sound effect uh, for that as well. Um, so that has not been implemented yet. I got the basic OpenAL audio subsystem. It's just the base you know, foundational code that makes the audio work properly. I got that working pretty well, uh, which was a bit tricky because, you know, OpenAL has different uh, distance distance models. Uh, linear, for example, means, you know, if you graph, if you graph the gain versus, or the, the amplitude of a sound based on its position, um, <clears throat> you know, relative to its distance, um, it will scale linearly. Well, that's apparently not how sound works. So I'm actually, I think I'm using an exponential model. Um, so in any case, not really important. Never mind. Uh, but it makes it a little bit tricky um, because it's difficult to predict where a sound will reach zero. Basically, a sound can be extremely far away from the source and still have um, a little bit of gain to it, a little bit of amplitude to it. So that was uh, really the main hurdle I've been trying to overcome uh, in the last several sessions of work. Uh, so again, what you have here, you have ship thrust sounds, ship velocity sounds, ship part debris uh, velocity sounds, and bullet velocity sounds. And I'll probably mute, uh, excuse me, mute the music through uh, most of this. Apologies to Morty, but I'm just trying to show off the sound effects, of course. Uh, so let's let's get it on. It always plays this quote when I'm recording a video, I'm not sure why. It selects them randomly. And again, anyone who has any cool quotes that you know are relevant to warfare or <laughs> anything irrelevant to sylph or sylphy, please let me know. Uh, those can be added. Let's see, I'm probably gonna go to a test stage first. silence the music and uh, make myself invincible and we'll just uh, listen for a moment to the uh, SA08's velocity and thrust sound effects. When I move laterally you pretty much just hear the uh, velocity. I made it so thrust is really only affected by forward movement so it is to simulate you know the way you know an aircraft would sound actually in the air versus space and of course when you bank or when you move left and right, that's due to the flaps um, on either side moving in opposite directions. Of course, it's unrealistic, but it's not really the point here. Of course, when you move back, you're giving it less thrust, so you hear less of that, also less velocity when you move forward. Uh, you can hear that thrust quite clearly. You can also, again, the velocity of the bullets, that affects everyone's bullets, of course, including the SO8 or the player's bullets. Um, so you hear the old SDL audio when you fire, uh, which is the initial sound it creates when it plays a bullet. Uh, but you also continue to hear the bullets as they move away from the camera, which adds really a whole new, uh, whole new dimension uh, to your own ship's firing sound effect. Again, right now, I'm just pretty much showing off the capabilities of the system. I have tweaked it some, um, but it's definitely not a uh, final product. Um, let me speed it up a bit. 
cheat and give myself all the power-ups, primarily automatic fire or rapid fire, whatever you want to call it. Making the difference there. And uh, now, if you want to hear some, uh, uh, I'll generate um, a swarm of uh, enemy type seven. Uh, just so you can hear both their thrust and velocity sound effects simultaneously as they race towards the camera and past it. And of course you can hear that sound terminate as soon as they're destroyed. I'll let them try to get a little bit close and move back some maybe. Move back, generate, and then destroy them. Hear some more velocity and thrust sound effects there. I've actually changed the pitch for this craft's velocity, so you see it's a little bit lower pitched. Um, right now, basically, the velocity sound effect for everything for my ship, the SAO 8, for enemy ships, for the bullets, and even for ship part debris are actually using the same sample, uh, you know, the same wave file. Um, I may consider different ones for different uh, ships' velocities. Uh, at the very minimum, I'm actually going to subtly, uh, subtly change the pitch, uh, pre ship types, velocity, and possibly thrust, to just to give some sort of variation. The last thing I want to have is to where the same sound effect is going to be played over and over for every ship on the screen at the same pitch, because it'll start to sound basically like this static, like like white noise swelling in or out based on the number of ships and how fast they're moving. So I don't want it to begin to sound really, you know, to have the same tone. Um, let's see, probably the best thing to do here would be go to a, go to a different stage so you can hear some actual action, some real action. So I'm going to try to stay alive here without shooting. velocities for so many different objects simultaneously. It's not quite as dynamic as far as the tone color or the sound of the sample. Not, ooh, not quite as dynamic as it could be. And again, this is just to pretty much show my progress so far. Actually, we're back here a bit. Start with area, area two. Well, area one might be a little bit better. I don't know. Hmm. Use some different weaponry, perhaps. Do maybe this and that. The different weapons. Try to play legit here, no cheats. Actually, I'm still invincible. I should probably toggle that off. Should be able to die now. interesting to see what I can eventually do with uh, the open AL library. Um, hopefully I'm not invincible anymore. Let's see if I can really push it towards something that sounds better than most most shoot 'em ups really. It's an interesting thing, a lot of shoot 'em ups don't spend uh, too much time what I've seen on sound effects. I love shoot em ups, but it's not really even just shoot em ups, a lot of games. It's true, a lot of AAA games do spend an incredible amount of time you know, crafting your soundscapes and have a lot of excellent technology. Um, what I've used so far with OpenAL is uh, relatively simple. I really haven't fully taken advantage of it. There's a lot of things you can do. Uh, for extensions. You can EQ and reverb and all sorts of crazy things. Um, I'm not going to get into that too much. Maybe some reverb for base stages. Uh, but for the time being, I'm just really trying to get the basics solid, which is 
obviously surround sound, you know, 5.1, 7.1, just basic 3D positional sound effects with respect to basic surround sound capabilities. And uh, its other main feature is Doppler, which of course changes the pitch based on a sound emitter's velocity in the vector relative to the camera. But if you're standing at the side of a uh, the side of the track at a race and a car passes by you, um, the sound of its engine goes from high pitch, then it bends down to low pitch as it goes away from you. That's basically Doppler. V and do V and forward. It's a little bit harder to play when you can't hear it. It's like that feedback element. Um, uh, Injected to mobile. Died anyway. Actually, this guy is not the boss. I think uh, Robillon appears after him. I'll be, I'll be hose this guy down with some bullets and then save my missiles for the actual end boss. Remember, being that I actually programmed this. Oh, he was the emboss. Cool. <laughs> okay. So hopefully that gives you a decent idea of what I've done so far with the sound effects. Um, definitely let me know in the comments. And kick the music back in, maybe. Um, definitely know in the comments what you think about that. Um, you know, if you have any suggestions at all. <coughs> Excuse me. Any ideas for the game in general? Um, really, I would absolutely love to hear it. I'm not kidding. I would love to hear any opinion on the game whatsoever. Um, but right now, I'm pretty much working on the sound effects, so hopefully, I'll get that uh, pretty much smoothed out uh, soon. Uh, a little bit better sounding with more variation as far as the specific sounds being used for the velocity, uh, engine thrust, bullets, etc., etc. So let me know, and uh, thank you very much for watching. This, of course, is Self Project Miyagi. Peace out.